So why post no trespassing signs? Um, I'm new to this property and as part of my research I actually have gone uh, and done quite a bit of research in regards to trespassing and so I thought maybe I'd share that with uh, you all and maybe help some other people. So the first question is really why are we, why are we doing this at all? And I think it's pretty clear to most of us that we should feel safe in our property and especially in our homes and on our land and on our farms. Um, we really need to feel, if there's anywhere we're going to feel safe, that's the place that it should be. And this is even more the case for those of us that are in a rural setting. Um, you know, a lot of us are sort of responsible for our own safety and don't have immediate access to police like you might have in a city. So it's really important for us to be able to have as much protection as we can uh, on our properties to discourage criminals. And trespassing really is that sort of don't even think about it type of law. Um, instead of just charging someone with theft, it gives us one more tool in our tool belt here to say uh, you're going to get theft plus possibly trespassing plus possibly burglary. So that, that really adds up the uh, charges uh, against criminals. So my research is, in, is uh, for Tennessee, so other states are, are different, uh, but, this, but this is just for Tennessee. In Tennessee, the uh, trespassing is Title 39 which is criminal offenses. It's in chapter 14, which is uh, offenses against property, and part four, which is burglary and related offenses. So some people might think that trespassing is sort of a, a non-serious crime. Well, it actually is a criminal offense uh, with jail time included, starting at 30 days um, and going on up. So it's a serious crime, and that's, that's part of the protections that are in place for, for people to be safe. Um, now in Tennessee, uh, there's a defense for a trespasser to claim that they thought that they had consent to be somewhere. So you, you obviously don't want the person to be able to have that defense. If you, if you believe someone's trespassing, you don't want them to have that defense. So that's why we post signs. What, what happens when you post signs is that defense is removed from uh, as a possible defense. The way the law reads is it says um, if the owner posts signs at all major points of ingress. So an ingress is an entrance, right? So uh, that's sort of not entirely clear what an entrance might be considered to be. Uh, and it, it's not even just any entrance, it's major entrance. So uh, it seems pretty clear that you probably don't have to worry about um, you know, every little nook and cranny that someone might enter on, it's just major points of entrance. Um, but if you want to go the extra mile and be extra secure, you probably might want to post some extra signs. So right here, I'm, uh, I'm going to show you this property that I'm at here now. Um, again, we're going the extra mile here. Um, the nice thing with this particular property is three out of four sides are surrounded by neighbors. So the only real public kind of possible entrance is off this main road here. So to be uh, as secure as we possibly can, we're posting our first sign as soon as we start, as soon as we get to the property, there's a sign immediately. So um, that's not really an entrance. You can kind of tell that there's a, there's a berm here and there's lots of trees. So it's, clearly not an entrance, um, but just to be, again, to go that extra mile, we're making it extra clear. Uh, so by default, we have a Class C misdemeanor. Uh, in Tennessee, a Class C misdemeanor is this, basically the smallest criminal offense you can have. It's up to 30 days in jail and a uh, $50 fine, so it's, it is a smaller criminal offense, but it is still a criminal offense. Now, I don't know if you can see that, but the trees sort of clear up here. Um, and it's not a major point of, of ingress, but it sort of possibly might be considered that way. So just to, again, to be extra clear, we have a sign sort of in the back there so that anyone can see this is uh, still no trespassing here. So the trespassing can bump up to a class B if, one, if two conditions are met. The first condition is the, the person has to know that they don't have permission. 
So if you're posting signs, the person clearly knows that they don't have permission to be there. So that condition is met. Then there's two other ways, there's two other options that either of these other two things can be met to make it a class B misdemeanor. The first thing is they can tamper, if they tamper with your fencing, tamper with your gate, uh, alter, uh, remove signs, anything like that. If they do any of those things, that's a class B, that's now a class B misde misdemeanor uh, trespass. Uh, the other thing is they can do is if they reasonably know, intend, or basically negligently come on your property in a way that might cause someone to fear um, or to be fearful for, for someone's safety. So a, a clear example of this might be someone comes to your, your house in the middle of the night and is banging on your door. Well, that might cause panic. Uh, in a lot of cases, those people get shot. Uh, so clearly those people are panicked. So someone coming in the middle of the night, that's clearly going to cause panic. Uh, there might be other ways, like so if you might maybe post another sign that says that if you come on this property, we believe you are intending to, com to cause harm, uh, they would have pretty logical, uh, rational thought to believe that they shouldn't come on the property. Um, so if they do that, we're now up to a class B misdemeanor. Uh, and that's all, uh, was that TCA 3914? 408, I believe. Um, there's also a class A trespass, uh, class A misdemeanor trespass, and that happens if they uh, trespass on a uh, school, a hospital, a railroad, or into a home. Or actually, it's not a home. The, the, the word they use is habitation. Habitation is basically defined as anything or anywhere that someone might sleep. That even includes tents. So if you're sleeping there and someone comes and uh, trespasses there, that's a class A misdemeanor. That's up to one year in prison. That's a very serious misdemeanor. Um, one other thing I want to point out here, so you can see this, uh, this entrance. Now this is obviously a major ingress. This is definitely where you want to have the signs. So we posted them in two different versions to make it very, very clear.